this is steep. This is steep, Dave. This is steep. Jake break, Jake break, Jake break, Jake break. So, trailer looks good, trailer looks good. guys so it's Dave here on Sunday morning still trying to get out of Montana and I'm actually about to shut it down because I'm pretty much driving on ice right now uh, 100% and you know I don't know a lot yet about what the road conditions look like feel like etc and what I'm driving on uh, there's so I stopped and pulled over to the shoulder and just walked to kind of feel like what what I'm seeing now to know exactly like what it is right so then I can learn because I don't really exactly know what I'm driving on was it just packed snow or is it like ice and yeah it's definitely was freaking ice now this little part here doesn't look as bad as what it just was but the whole right lane was completely ice um, there was three trucks ahead of me and they were all probably going about 40 45 and I've been going about 35 so Yeah, I think I'm actually going to probably pull off at a truck stop up here and call CFI just because I haven't felt comfortable. I mean, yesterday I was driving on packed snow all day. This is different, though. This is like straight up ice, and it really makes me nervous. This guy's actually just going to fly past me. Because, I mean, that's ice right there. Like, I, I basically was sliding on it when I was trying to walk. So, I don't know. It just don't make me feel very good being on it, especially when I got out the truck and I was like, holy crap, this is slick. So I don't know, maybe I'll park it for a few hours until the sun comes out, let CFI know and just go from there, I guess. Tell me what you guys think in the comments about what you can see right now of the road condition. Is this pullover worthy or shut down worthy? Cause I feel like it is, man. Yesterday was different with that packed snow, but now that this stuff is frozen over, I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, like I said, uh, 3.5 miles up the road. I'm just gonna stop. I mean, CFI, one good thing about CFI guys, and I hear this from all CFI drivers, and my fleet manager told me himself, he said, if you don't feel comfortable, shut down, let us know, you'll be fine. And all the other CFI drivers said the same thing. They, you will not get in trouble for shutting down due to weather if you don't feel comfortable or feel like it's too dangerous. So, this is a hill right here, man. stuff man I don't like it I'm watching my trailer because I'm using some brake to try to slow down on this hill but I don't want to use too much and have the trailer start to get away from me Now y'all know I keep talking about how much I like OTR, and I do. But let me tell you something, this uh, this crap here about makes me want to take a local job <laughs> down on the Mississippi Gulf Coast and surrounding areas. Cause I don't like this stuff at all. Yeah, I mean, everybody's going slow. Even the truck behind me is just tailing me. The road looks a little bit better right here, but yeah, I just don't know, man. I, I don't know. Is there some spots? I can't tell. Oh yeah, it looks like there's some spots. It's always good. If not, I'll create a park it. I ain't going nowhere else, man. I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I am seriously done with this crap. See, look, everybody's going slow. Like everybody's going like what I was just going. at the stop sign. There's a casino. I still haven't 
gambled at a casino since I've been doing this. Um, I know I always say, I'm like, oh, a casino here at this one or something, but I don't ever gamble. And they, look how much creative park they are right there. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and park it. Look at Swift back there behind the sign. <laughs> It's just, I don't know. I just don't feel good about it, guys. I don't feel good about it. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is what most of the highway looked like. was like this. And I thought it was just kind of like a bit of packed snow. And maybe, maybe that's all it is. I don't know. It felt like ice to me, man. I slid on the shit. <laughs> slow down, Dave. Slow down, Dave. Slow down, Dave. Slow down. Please drive to highlighted route. All right, let's go see if we can't find some parking. Oh, there goes CFI backing into a spot. He's probably doing the same damn thing, probably shutting down. closed it looks like no it says crash ahead 
Huh. I wonder, can I take the exit? Or, uh, can I get on the on-ramp? Or no? Uh, all right. <laughs> do they have the on-ramp blocked off too? Oh yeah, they do. Wow. They got it a detour. So they're routing us around it. Where the hell? I'm not listening to you, GPS. This is why I use Google Maps, because it knows what the hell it's doing, man. Must be like a semi or something blocking both lanes. I mean, I figured that's the only reason they would close the whole highway down like that and make people detour, which I mean is good. It's better than just sitting there and waiting and doing nothing and having a bunch of traffic. Oh, uh, they got cops showing the way, basically. Okay, that's cool, so I don't even have to follow Google Maps, but yeah, they're gonna tell you to take a left up here because at least that's what Google Maps is telling me to do. Wait, they tell us to take a right? Or no, there's just people taking a right. Yeah, we can take a left. Perfect. Turn right at the stop sign, then take the first right. I feel like the snowplow drivers would be a fun job. Like, I really do. I need to YouTube that. I need to become a snowplow. How many of you guys would watch if I became a snowplow driver and I vlogged that? That would be awesome. What are you saying? Keep going. We don't have to stop at the stop sign. So then it doesn't back up. Because you know everybody's going to come to a complete stop with a cop right there. So he's like, come on, y'all. Whatever, you don't have to stop for this stop sign. Get your asses going. Get your ass in gear. All right. Hey, we get some back road scenic action in Montana. Turn I probably would have never, ever seen any of this. Look at the Montana trailer park. Hell yeah, that's a nice looking trailer park, actually. Y'all look at that. Look at that. They have classy trailer parks in Montana, man. No, legit, it looked nice. I'm not hating on trailers. I've lived in a trailer before. I like trailers. I would take another trailer in a heartbeat, dude. It'd be perfect for driving the truck because it would be cheaper to, to purchase one or whatever, and either put it on someone's land or purchase your own land, whatever. And then, like, if you're only home three or four days a month and you're an OTR driver, Continue then, on highway yeah, there. I am. Then, like, why do you want an expensive house anyways? Give me a little freaking trailer and throw it somewhere on family's property or just buy my own little piece of property and buy a little trailer, throw it on there, man. I'd be good. Out in the country somewhere, that's all I need. I don't really need much else. I want a nice one, though. I don't want a raggedy one. A lot of trailers are raggedy. The one I lived in, it was like my first place that I got by myself, right? I can't remember how old I was. It's like 18 or 19 or something. And, uh... My mom gave it to me and she was like here you know you can have it uh whatever enjoy so i moved a couple friends in with me there was three of us that lived in there and uh yeah it wasn't too bad man it really wasn't too bad with well living with other two other people it was a three bedroom trailer though but living with two other people it was a lot in that little space obviously than if you had like a house house However, uh, by yourself, that would be all that I needed, man. It's gonna be like a little two bedroom one or something. I could have me one that's a little office and then one that's my bedroom. Cheap living, man. Especially if you're single, bachelor like me, you don't really need nothing else. Okay. Wow, look, guys. <laughs> We're going up like a friggin' back road mountainside here and with the snow and everything else. This is great. Kinda, I'm kind of happy this kind of happened. 
a little bit of different scenery than I-90 the whole way, although the I-90 is pretty dang scenic itself. Oh man, what a view, guys. I wish I could pull over there and take it in. That's what those guys are probably doing. There ain't even no, nobody in there. Yeah, we got 16 miles of this, basically. Sorry, all those cars behind me, they're all like, oh man, we had to get stuck behind the truck. Yep, you did. Going uphill. Nothing else I can do about it, guys. 10 and 2, 25 miles an hour. Good thing it's not iced. What is over this hill? Is it going to be another breathtaking view? I don't know. That is the exciting part about driving new places. What is over this? Whoa, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, bub. I mean, obviously I want to make as much ground as I can because I lost a lot of time recently with, you know, the conditions, the road conditions. So today I was able to make pretty decent ground because I was going 55 to 60 the whole time on the packed snow. So that was good. Ooh, whoa, 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 this is steep, this is steep, this is steep, Dave. This is steep. Jake break, Jake break, Jake break, Jake break. So, trailer looks good, trailer looks good. Yeah, we good, we good, we good, man. Dude, I left all those cars back there. <laughs> <laughs> my rookie ass is getting it, son. <laughs> like, I'm getting my load there on time, bro. Don't don't at me. Don't at me. I got this. <laughs> and then I'm on these back mountain roads and all those cars just disappeared. I'm like, geez, I ain't going that fast. It's speed limit of 60. It's pretty much half dry, half packed snow here. I ain't too worried about it. Shoot, I'm learning fast, man. Oh, I can hear the comments now. Now, don't get too confident. Now, don't get too confident. No, trust me, I'm not. The moment that that road looks anything like ice or anything, I'm like terrified. I'm just getting a little bit better used to. I'm still going 45 and a 60. I'm not going fast. Oh my gosh, there's no rail there either. If you freaking spun out, you go right down in that railroad track and then down into the water. That would be terrible. bad. But yeah, no, I don't feel like I've been doing anything dumb. There was still trucks blowing past me at 70 in the packed snow as well, or 70 plus. And I was just sitting back there going kind of like 55. At nighttime, it makes me a lot more worried though when I can't really see well. Can't really see ice coming up or anything. And I just get nervous. And especially downhills, I like to take them slow too. Here's a bridge. All right, we're gonna keep the throttle on going over the bridge. Because one of y'all said that. Because one, one of you guys told me to let off when I get to a bridge, but then another one of you commented last, commented and said that uh, that was wrong, that you need to keep your throttle. Just, you know, steady throttle like you were doing. And that actually kind of sounds like it makes a little bit more sense to me to help keep your traction, I guess. I, I don't know. That's what my common sense tells me. So I'm gonna roll with that for now until more people tell me I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, we're catching a big uh, pack of that interstate traffic here. And we still got 11 miles to go. We about to have to slow it down a lot. Yep. I'm starting to break early because I know it's coming. That's pretty out here. Just on a back Montana road here. Wait, where's he? Where's he on? I thought this. I thought this was a just a two-lane road. Oh, oh, it's another road over there. Look. Wait, that must be that must be 90 there. 
That must be I-90, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm looking at my GPS now. I was confused. I was like, where? Now, how did all those trucks get through it? It's getting hot in here. Well, we got nine miles of uh, 45 mile an hour driving now, so I'm going to lose a little bit of time with all this junk. <clears throat> oh well, it is what it is. It's better than sitting in a traffic jam, that's for sure. I'd much rather be on a back road cruising than sitting in a traffic jam because of you know, an accident of whatever it was. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown.